What's up, Odooers? Here at Stealthy Wood, we have a database full of products with barcodes, but we need to get those barcodes printed. So join me as we print labels for our products and locations in our warehouse. Starting off in the inventory, let's take a look at our configuration by clicking configuration at the top, followed by settings. Now I'm just going to scroll down to our barcode section and we can see that barcode is already enabled. I'm also using our default nomenclature, but this will depend on your own company workflow. Check out our GS1 nomenclature documentation to learn more about when you would want to use that format. While we're here, I'm also going to scroll down to our warehouse section and make sure that storage locations is ticked and enabled, which I will need in order to print barcodes for locations. Now, in our case, all of the products that we want to print already have a barcode assigned. If you haven't done that step yet, feel free to check out our video on assigning barcodes. Taking a step back, let's talk about printers. At Stealthy Wood, we're just using a regular office printer to print out these barcodes. However, in the future, we would love to upgrade to a dedicated label printer like one of these. The best way to set up a label printer that reads DIMO or ZPL format data is to use Odoo's IoT system. Check out our video on adding an IoT device to learn more. There are alternative ways to connect some label printers and print directly from your computer, and you can find the resources to set that up in our documentation. For this demo, we'll be sticking to the regular office printers that we already have. Let's start by printing barcodes for the locations in our warehouse. This will let us do all kinds of things, including initiating a new transfer in barcode just by scanning the location. Lucky for us, we can do it right here from the inventory settings menu. So let's scroll back up to our barcode section. And because I enabled storage locations under barcode scanner, we have a link here to print storage locations. When I click this, this will open a PDF in a new tab just like this one here with barcodes for each location that we've created for our warehouse. If I create more locations down the line or just want to print one out, I can also click configuration here at the top followed by locations. And from this list, I can go ahead and tick any of these locations and then click on this handy print button that appears at the top which will download a barcode PDF for any of the locations that I have selected. Now I'm free to print these out and post them all over our warehouse. Amazing. Now let's print out some barcodes for our Stealthy Wood products. Still in the inventory app, I'm going to select products at the top followed by products once again so I can see everything we need to print barcodes for. I'm going to click on this large meeting table here and go to its product form. And since the large meeting table already has a barcode defined here in the last field, I can go ahead and click this print labels button. I'll select the 2x7 with price because that's the largest format for PDF labels. We'll talk about these other options in the next section. Odoo will download a PDF that includes the name, price, and barcode for that product. And I could print them the same way I did the others. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't want to click each of my products individually and print out barcodes from individual PDFs. Well, you're in luck, my fellow Odooers, because we absolutely do have another way we can print all of our barcodes all at once. To print multiple barcodes at once, I'm going to return to the products page by the breadcrumbs here in the top left corner, then click this list view icon on the right side of the page. Now, I don't want to take up any space in my prints for products that don't have barcodes, so I'll filter them out through the search bar. Once I click on this down arrow, I'm going to click add a custom filter. And then here in the first ID field, I'm going to start typing barcode and select the option once it appears. Then in the middle field, I'm going to change this equal sign to is set and then click this add button. Now I have a list of all my products that are goods that also have their barcode set. To select them all, I'm just going to tick this checkbox here on the left corner. And when I do, this handy print labels button appears. So I'm going to click that button. And here we see the same options that we saw when printing the single product. So let's take a look at these options now, shall we? The first option, DIMO. This is for a specific format for DIMO label writers. After that, we have our four PDF options. The first number is how many columns the barcode will be arranged in. And the second is the number of rows. So for this 2x7 with price option, we'll print 14 labels per page. 
Then we have our 4x7 with price. The 4x7 barcodes will be the same size, but the whole label takes about half the width. And for the 4x12 options, those are the smallest and the most space efficient. But what if you want more customization options? That's where ZPL comes in. Zebra Programming Language, or ZPL, is a code that you can read by many available label printers. In Odoo, if I have a ZPL compatible printer connected with IoT, selecting ZPL will send the label directly to my printer. However, I don't have a label printer connected, so instead I'm going to select the ZPL labels and then click Confirm. Then Odoo downloads a text file with the ZPL code. ZPL looks something like this and is essentially just some condensed data for the size and position of different parts of the barcode label. If I want to edit ZPL, I have lots of options, but my personal favorite is labelry.com. I can paste my ZPL in their viewer and see what it'll look like as a printed label. If I click any of the commands on the label, Labelry will tell me what that command stands for and what any of the numbers represent. So I can edit without even learning the language. Plus, it also has options to print from here so I can generate PDFs with the modified barcodes. And that's it. But doers, we can print barcodes for all of our locations and products. There's nothing stopping us now from scanning our way to maximum efficiency. Until the next video, I'll see you soon.